Hi guys, so you might be able to notice I am back on my phone. I have got my new phone back. Basically, I was trying to get hold of the female officer who had my phone and I couldn't and I got a bit pissed off about it in all honesty because they've had my phone nearly a month so I emailed her and I said I know you've personally had my phone back um, for over a week now. It's been there nearly a month. It's costing me £60 a month for a phone that I don't have and I'm not particularly happy about it. Um, she rang me back like an hour and a half later, I think. Missed the call, rang her and she said I can go and get it today and I said I'm not going to be able to come in. I didn't explain to her. I wasn't being awkward or anything like that. But the reason was um, my mum and stepdad and brother were coming to eat today. So I was like... Um, I can't come in but I never explained that and then I ended up getting everything done quickly and I had 25 minutes spare so I set off to go and get my phone because I wanted it back and I didn't want her to think I was messing around when I said I want it back today so it was on the desk for me I signed for it and I've got it back I've got to put all my apps back on it because I took all my social media off so because I didn't want them to go on any of my social media for obvious reasons because I knew they would if they could so as you can see the quality of this phone is a lot better than my other one so um, you're not going to get to see this quality because I'm about two and a half weeks ahead of schedule with my uploads so by the time you see this it's going to be towards the end of January but I got my phone back on the 27th of December and I think I dropped it off something around the 4th or the 5th or something like that. Um, but yes, I've got it back and I'm happy now. My windscreen is frozen solid at 1am. <laughs> and it says it's 1 degree outside but it must be less than that for it to freeze. I am literally freezing to death in my car um, because my car is frozen solid and yeah um, just popping out but oh god I don't feel as ill as I felt last night when I went out but I don't feel amazing um, I've just been watching a little bit of TV tonight but I spent around an hour filming and taking pictures from my other channel and for my blog and for Instagram earlier. I probably was doing it for an hour and a half. Um, tomorrow's blog post is ready, I just need to add a picture. Um, tomorrow I've got to do a lot of blog post writing because um, I'm running out of content. Like I know what content I'm having on each day but I just want to get ahead. Like the last post of this year it's got quite a bit of work that needs doing to it so I want to get that finished ASAP um, but yeah daily blogging until the 8th of January then three times a week Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday which I'm relieved about and I'll still find it hard to keep up with three times a week because it just creeps up in you in like midnight the night before I'm like oh my god I've got a post to do but it's better than every day and I'm so proud of myself for doing it every day, all of November, all of December, with what's been going on, especially during November. I was really struggling with things. Um, and I think I've managed to do most of every other day in October. So in the three month period, I've done quite a lot. And considering how I felt, I think that's pretty amazing, if you ask me. Um, but I was determined to have something up every day just so I didn't completely waste my time while I was ill because it just feels like I'm wasting time when I'm ill and I, I just don't feel motivated or up to doing anything and it's not because I'm lazy, it's just because of how depressed I felt but I am slowly coming out of it thankfully and I want to get better, I want to push myself, I want to achieve things, I want to do things with my life so I'm glad that I've been able to do daily blog posts and get videos up on this channel every single day I still need to film Sunday's video for this channel and I've got blogs edited and scheduled to the 3rd of January and three weeks worth of footage on my channel to edit so I'm going to try and edit some of that tomorrow as well 
and get up till the, maybe the 10th of January or something. Um, you'll probably be seeing this video like end of January because of how much footage I've got. But you'll see this at some point and hopefully from like now the 20, well it's now the 28th of December until when you see this hopefully you'll see a massive change in how I am because I am feeling a lot better. As I said I'm not feeling amazing and there's still a long way to go but every day is a new day and I'm trying my hardest to get better, I really am. It's just about to turn four in the morning and obviously I'm in bed. Um, I've not took my makeup off yet and I've been up here since about half past two. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos, that's why I'm still awake. Um, my dad's just got up and turned the heating off. So I'm waiting a few minutes while he falls back to sleep and then I'm going to go and put it back on. Because it's minus one. And I don't want to be cold. Um, I didn't feel very well when I got home. After I went out earlier. Well, it was early that I went out, but when I got home, I was just so ill. There's something wrong with me. And I tried to book a doctor's appointment. And the soonest I can get one, I think, is the 9th or the 10th of January like two weeks away and by then I'll probably be well but I booked it anyway just in case so I'm going to take my makeup off now and then sneak down and put the heating back on <laughs> 